What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Got a really special video for you today. One of the nastiest road glide builds that I have ever seen. So this is my buddy Drew. He's the owner of this bike. We're gonna go through this bike with him since he built it himself, which is the way I think you should do it. I can't do it, but Drew does have the skills to do that. So we're gonna to talk to him about what he's done to this bike, starting with these Olin's piggybacks. Now I see a lot of people doing this just for the bling factor, but Drew has a motocross background, so he does understand the importance of a good suspension. Drew, why'd you go with these Olin's piggybacks? Well, I rode my buddies in Daytona, and that's what he ran. And I've ran the Legends stuff before. And uh, for me, I'd, I'd rather pay a little bit extra money to get the, something I know how it's going to ride. I'm pretty short, but man, it's, I've got it. The rears, I got 14 and a half on it, or 14 and a quarters, and the fronts are two and a half overs. And see, that's one thing. So the, the last video I put out, um, I was talking about suspension and how it's not always necessarily, now I do like the look of the bike sitting up taller, but it's not necessarily always the look that you want, but it's functional, it's more rideable, yeah. so it's sitting up gives you, I'll show you guys, you can see the kind of ground clearance he's got here, here which is beneficial for his riding style. I'm, I'm like five, eight and a half, and I'm tiptoes, but man, when you get it in the mountains, yeah, as soon as you take off, yeah, it really doesn't matter. Let me go back to these rear shocks real quick. You know, I'm not knocking anybody for doing the bling because let's take a moment to appreciate how good that looks. It does <laughs> look nice. So yeah. not knocking anybody doing it just for the bling factor. Obviously, you're going to get the benefits, but take the time, set it up, do it right. So you'll notice here on Drew's, he's got the forks up in the triple clamps just a little bit. Drew, why'd you do that? Just, I'm a little too short to have them all the way up. See, it, so once again, pushing guys. Pushing it back out of a parking spot. I can ride it with them up fine, but uh, more so just backing the bike up. I have a little bit harder time, even with the hell they are now, but it's not too bad. Exactly. So see, guys, that's what we're saying is set this bike up for you, for your riding style. So you've also done these risers. How tall are these risers? Uh, got an eight, eight and a half inch riser. And the, I went with the thresh and supply, um, the pullback, and that brings it up to like another two and a half inches, I believe. Okay. And who makes this riser? Uh, that's Original Garage Moto, and it's pretty cool. They're out of Canada, but they all race motocross, and they hit me up on Facebook, and because I was asking some questions on some pages, and they said, hey man, if you ride moto and stuff like that, you ought to check out our website, and I would support anybody that rides. Dude, yeah, and I'll tell you guys firsthand, so I know like on camera, this kind of looks flashy. The quality of this looks really, really good. So I've been fortunate enough to put my hands on a lot of different sets of risers working in the dealership yeah. here. And these feel as premium as any that I've put my hands on. Is this gauge relocation from them as well? Yep. Yeah. And they're, they're a little cheaper too. That's okay. Why, that's yeah. why I so, with them. So good and affordable, but also good quality stuff. And I like supporting, you know, moto guys, being a moto guy yeah, myself. For sure. I can get behind that. So usually on my review videos, I kind of do a walk around, show you guys around this bike. I want to show you this front fender because to me, this thing looks amazing. And you'll also notice Drew's running these stock brakes. That's uh, that's not the long-term plan. Drew, what are you going to put on here? Right now, the plan is to put Galfa rotors on it, um, front and rear. I actually ordered some, but I didn't realize that I ordered them before I even got the bike. I didn't realize the bolt pattern was different. Yeah, so that'll look good. Are you planning on keeping the stock wheel or what? Probably. I may. I may. Have I don't it. hate these stock wheels. I like. I do them. hate spending money on wheels because wheels are expensive. My whole point to building the bike how I did it so I could corner it in the mountains and yeah, stuff. Yeah, so it's functional. And that's what I tell people too. I'm like, if you change your wheels, try to keep that same geometry, same wheel size. I'll also show you guys this two into one trask pipe that he's done on here. 
So it's got the safety wire on the heat shields, which I'm a big fan of. It just gives it that nice racy look. I like where it dumps out here right under the bag. These floorboards are different. I know it's not going to translate on camera that well, but they're not that wide as you can see. You're not going to catch these as much when you're leaning it over in the curves. It keeps a nice low profile. Who are these from, Drew? Uh, Cross the Red. Okay, cool. And they're affordable too. Okay, so they're affordable and as you can, well, yeah. I don't know if you can see I'll on camera. It, it's got good grip. It's right there. Yeah, see and that's and perfect. And, and when you look from the top, there's no extra hanging off. Because as you'll see, Drew does lay this thing over. I also want to point out this kickstand extender. So like we talked about with the suspension, lifting this bike up, getting it a lot taller. So this thing is really, really going to lean when you've got it leaned over, which makes it heavy to pick up. That prevents that, and it also keeps this bike from having such a lean. Also, I want to show you guys these crash bars. So I'm a big fan of these. You never want to drop your bike, but if you do, that's going to be really, really helpful. So you see you got them on the front and on the back. So if you were to lay this thing over, you can see these stick out just a little bit farther than your saddlebags to protect that. This should help protect your fairing and your gas tank. Speaking of the gas tank, he did change the console. so. Cosmetically, I think that one does look a lot better. I like the look of that one. Then I also noticed when I was snooping around on his bike that he put these really nice saddlebag inserts in there. That looks good, keeps your stuff from rolling around because I've run saddlebags with no inserts and everything in there just ends up looking like crap because it bounces around as plastic on plastic. So I'm a fan of these. Where are these from? Hogwarts. Okay, cool. All right, Drew, that's it, man. I appreciate you bringing the bike out. We'll have to go ride this thing sometime. Yeah, man, let's do it. Just let me know.